My wife and I came to the bold decision that it might be time for a trip away from the city. Somewhere quiet, peaceful, and secluded preferably. Uh, my cool guy's addiction at this point had got so horrifically out of control, I could no longer function in society as a normal person. I think I'm seeing illusions due to my addiction. Let alone work on my scripts. See, I'm a writer, but not any old writer. I make pseudo-intellectual analysis videos. Hopefully this trip will help me reignite my inner life and save our marriage. She hopes, for she doesn't know I brought one thing with me. <laughs> Am I gonna be busy? Well, I do hope no shadowy demons drag her into the lake and drown her. Tripped fellas is a game, a good game. Well, it depends who you ask. A gaming casual like Lil Blev over here might actually agree, but a pro like Tyler might not. But why is this? Fallen Men, also known as its street name, Fall Guys, is a platform battle royale game. What this means, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. You idiot! Miss, Mr. P. Enoch! The best way I can put it is it's like Mario Party Fortnite. Which, you know, sounds amazing. I'm sure most people here are aware of Fall Guys. Even if you haven't actually acquired and played the game yet. I never asked for this. I'm sure closing your eyes, you can picture the fool man in all his round, jelly bean like glory. Now picture 60 of these in a lobby. Well, more like 23 with the dwindling numbers of the game. Is there anybody in here? No! But we'll discuss that later. Thrown into a colorful here. arena. Oh, nigga! Ah! <laughs> with the main goal to fight and win. Simple, yet exciting. Do tasks like jump over log. Jump over pad, jump over gap, and well, you you get the point. You do this to qualify for the next round, where instead of 23 people, there's 10. Burning hell, piece of shit. And you might jump over log, and then so on, so on, until it's you and one other full man, or the other 23, depending on how greasy the lobby is, fighting to win the one and only prized kudos. We don't deal with that crown shit anymore. But aside that, simple, right? Literally. I think even a small child could win. Or, or not. See, as you'd imagine from the bright colors, connections. stupid looking characters, the soundtrack. Oh, that soundtrack. Why did you do that? That's not a good song. All right, well, put something else in. Put something else in. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. The fan base is mainly children. The time has come. Problem. Children are stupid. Like they see Fortnite skin, <gasps> no! they acquire. They see Friday Funkin' Squid Game mod, they acquire. And most of all, they see platform, they jump. Fuck you. But there's a oh, lot guys. of children. And they found interest in this colorful baby game. No! I fuck off. In a strange way, changed lives for the better. Coming the number one best-selling game before it even came out. Changing lives in mere days. This man went from a trash-talking coke addict to a humble gamer. I imagine it dawned on the devs pretty quickly that this euphoria doesn't last forever. And games like this come and go. Hello, Mario. And maybe it did. Specifically catered by one certain game. A game Where, with I? a lot of sus, sus and baka among us. Bitter rivals I'm from the get-go with Descent I'm Gentlemen. Killing. Maybe it was merely coincidence of the timing, but both games hit their undisputed peaks in the exact same month. Similar games too by design, party games with not Corporate much skill. Need you to find the differences between this game and this game. They're the same game. Repetitive, oh, but with a brilliant oh, shit, replay Gordy. factor. Oh, shit. But who would come out on top? You can't play two games. That's literally not, not possible. possible. Four guys had the upper hand at the start, but it just wasn't enough as Among Us and their 1000 IQ funny sus moments Pokemon crushed down on them. Among Us had many things that completely took the birthday cake away from the birthday boy. Being cheaper, 17 British pounds cheaper, and being pull slightly it. less repetitive. You'll pull it away and I'll land flat on my back and Game kill ended. myself. Now I know that sounds bad, 
but I'm not lying. Bruh. I made a whole video covering Among Us, so you shouldn't watch until this video ends. This is a fairly well-made video. <laughs> Three different yeah. maps, ten different characters, different tactics, and most importantly, the art of speech. Different people every time. No. Keeping you on your toes and wanting more. That's enough. Sir, yes sir. Maybe next game you'll get the imposter and win the epic victory. But with Fall Guys it's different. More maps that you like run up and over and over and over. And wins that I guess give you skins. But for its price of £17, it wasn't worth it. Man, fuck you. That was Kanye West on why he should be crowned King Leader of the World. Next up, I'll just- Good morning. Games these days are so pricey. Yeah, yeah, I see you. The one guy that didn't refund Cyberpunk. You know what you could have spent that money on? That would have ultimately one been a better funny, investment? Annoying, no? Heroin. Or, maybe, for completely free, you could have subscribed to the Chon for a YouTube channel. But, in my personal opinion, I would rather die than subscribe to such a humble gamer. But if you wanna sell your stupid little soul, be my guest. Games like Among Us and Fall Guys, respectively, will never last. I don't know if they're designed for it or what. There's no reason to grind the game out 24 hours a day. Not like there's really a prominent pro scene. There's no secrets or lore to the full guys. That's why games like Silent Hill. Wake up. Snap out of it. CSGO. Oh, my bad. My bad. I was wiping some shit off. Jack is missing. Are still popular. His name was Leg. Oh my god, somebody clip this. His na Guys, his name was Leg. It's a party game, and they just don't last. Their player numbers absolutely plummeted. To the point the only people playing the game were those Twitch streamers who sit in a dark room in silence. <coughs> YouTubers couldn't make videos on it either. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. Because there's so much you can do with its mechanics and goals. Just a bit outside, he tried the corner and missed. Let's fight, like gentlemen. The mechanics aren't inherently bad, just morbidly easy. Run is W, jump is space, grab is shift. And well, that's it. Just imagine those shitty indie horror games, where all you can do is walk around clicking stuff. Guys. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. Until a literal fucking JPEG jump scares you. Couldn't be me. Now, now, I kind of lied. They did kind of try to keep the game alive with new seasons and new maps. Season 2, which lasted 68 days, it implemented a more medieval tone. Body's still warm. People ask how I'm doing. Very suicidal. And a few mini games to keep the children happy. Okay, who likes Fall Guys? Season 3 was 97 days long, a month longer than its predecessor, with a winter theme. But another pretty average season, apart from the fact they added... Prime Drops. Groundbreaking. Season 4 was 120 days, season 5 133, season 6 being 203 days. Now, all my avid Fortnite Battle Royale fans will remember the notorious and formerly hated, but now well, in my opinion, look back on fondly. Chapter 2, Season 1. Remember how long that lasted? The complaints, the gruelling final weeks. Well, that was only 100 days. Fall Guys Season 6 was double that. They I'm couldn't killing. give less of a shit I'm about killing. their game. Or maybe they were working on something big. A season to top all others with the helps of... Epic Games. Yeah, the Fortnite guys. Hey.
Hey you, yeah you, you're the guys that don't fall guys, right? Yeah, I, I guess. Look guys, I'm willing to give you a dilemma. Well, if you insist. You give me full guys for 1.2 billion British pounds. In return, we take the game in the direction we want it to. Deal. For a 1.2 billion dollar deal. You know how much you can do with 1.2 billion dollars? One time is funny, two times is fucking annoying. You could buy the mansion owned by Elliot Schwartz from the finale of Breaking Bad. 480 times. Now, those stock market blokes from TikTok might tell you differently. But I, millionaire entrepreneur, think that's a B-plus investment. With Epic Games taking the reins, it was like a new stick in the fire, a burning light in a shroud of darkness. They must have seen something in the game. I'm really not sure what. Probably the oversaturation. Tears. as Tonic Games leaned back in their DX races with their tens of dollars. Epic Games was in the other room, starting a storm. Now, when you think of a good game, what do you think of? That's right, a battle pass. With hundreds of cool cosmetic items, banners, designs, and... Among Us? With a vibrant color palette, maybe even more saturated than before. Any child within a 5,000 meter radius would have to put everything down to buy this pass. And I don't blame them. It's a pretty decent pass. And this is Epic Games' thing. In a dignifying way, this battle pass is better than Destiny 2's. I, s I see you Reddit user, go back to your cave! This isn't on a content standpoint, it's from a moral marketing fidelity. And to be honest, I don't even like the idea of a battle pass. Will I buy this one? No fucking way. The prices are insane. See, the main currency in Fall Guys was crowns, which is such a brilliant idea. I'm feeling a light zero and I'm gay. How they worked is simple. Finally, after 15 games of losing to literal newborns, I get to win. Additionally, you get a crown. With this, you can buy item shop items that are only, and I mean only, purchasable with crowns. So when you go into your next game, you can fix your astonishing and vast skill. And the skins were good. It was yeah, so worth it. But now, it's gone. For a more pay to shine kind of system. Humanity is corrupt. Winning barely gives you anything anymore. But the slight, emphatic feeling of, I won. Nice. And while I do understand why they decided to implement this new currency, I'm not a fan of it. Basically V-Bucks, named Full Bucks, you can only become a holder of them through real world money. I'm broke as shit. You are only able to get skins as well as cosmetics higher than uncommon with real money. So there's basically nothing to work towards because everyone already has it. Now you might be wondering, what happened to the people who still had crowns when the system changed? Well, they were refunded in kudos. The free currency you can buy basically nothing with. A fair deal. And with mainly the game being free and promoted, the numbers have started rising again. Nothing like the golden day, but compared to the past months, a very good increase. A promising one, too. I see Fool Guys keeping its success for at least another day. You thought you could kill me, didn't you? I did, and you were dead for a very long time. But s something about you, your power, it it's just so epic. epic. Well, this is goodbye. Our battle was legendary. But it's time to suffer the harrowing nothingness of death beyond life, like I did for so many years. While I do not believe the game is any better than it was all those one year ago, the way Epic Games has marketed it is of the highest honor commendable. Now if I was a Fall Guys dev, I'd add a map 
where the goal is to climb a harrowing mountain to listen to one episode of Gary V's podcast. Instead of-